everyone, it's Crystal from ArmyWife101.com. So today we're talking about the advantages of living on post and the advantages of maybe living off post and the cons of living on post and the cons of living off. Starting with the advantages of living on post. Number one, no real utilities. Now, let's be honest. A lot of people will say, well, they take our BAH, so they're really taking our money. Please. Okay? You don't see your BAH. It's not like, to my knowledge, as long as my husband's been in, we've never gotten our BAH when we lived on post. So I don't feel like we're losing a whole lot of money, especially when utilities are included. Now, because of the new implementation of privatized housing and mock billing, yes, there are some posts that are now implementing a light bill. But the light bill, and I have a post about that, so I'm not going to go into it. What I will say is that I have had to pay a light bill on post at Hunter Army Airfield, and it was so much cheaper. I think my light bill might have been like $20, $30. Pretty much, they give you a baseline. Um, if you go over it, you pay the difference. If you go under, you usually get a little refund check. There's a whole post on it about Army Wife 101. I'll try to link to it if I can remember because my mind. Um, you do pay for your cable and your internet, but so what? You're not paying for lights and water. I don't see the big deal. Now, a lot of people do have a complaint about... Um, the fact that they take our BAH because they feel like, you know, if you live off post, you probably could get a bigger place and so forth. I do have to say that is one of the reasons why we chose against living on Fort Bragg, for instance, because they wanted to give us a 1,200 square foot house. Um, my apartment that I had at one point in my life was 1,100 square feet and it was two bedrooms. So you want me to fit two big kids into 1,200 square feet? I can't do it. So that was one of the reasons why we did choose to live off. But just because we chose to live off and got a way bigger place does not mean we're saving money because the minute you live off post, now you're taking on more bills. We have an alarm bill, we have a light bill, we have a water bill, we have a gas bill. We have all these bills that we're taking on, but we're choosing to do it for our own comfort. It is a personal choice, it's a preference. But that is the big factor as far as utilities go and living on post. The next thing I would say is camaraderie. I do miss the camaraderie of living on post. I miss um, you know, everybody kind of being military and I miss hearing taps at 11 o'clock at night or whatever time it played. I miss hearing the Reveille at 6.30 in the morning and being awoken by that. Um, I miss hearing the guys do PT in the morning. I don't know. It just makes you feel like something and I do miss that. But also during deployments was really important. I, I like being in a place where a lot of the wives' husbands were deployed. So we kind of all were going through the same thing. Also, while some may say that living on post is a false sense of security, and don't, that is true, don't think nothing happens on post, because it does, trust me, but I do feel safer sometimes on post. Now, like here, I feel comfortable in my neighborhood, but depending on where you live, um, I, I, I did tend to feel safer on post. Also, if you live overseas, anytime you live overseas, you collect COLA, which stands for Cost of Living Allowance. And when you collect COLA, COLA is a good chunk of money. When we were in Hawaii, we were getting about, I don't know, like seven sixty for our little family. And that was in addition to his paycheck and BAS and, you know, if they're deployed and it's in addition to that. So, you know, it, 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 it's a nice chunk of cash and you can do what you want with it. Most people bank it. Some people blow it. I don't know. I don't care. But it's extra money. So if you live on post though, you tend to make out better because you don't really pay any major bills unless it's the bills you created on your own. And now you're getting this extra chunk of cash to bank, save, do whatever with. So that's one of the things. Um, I don't really see any, I mean, disadvantage wise, as far as post housing goes, it can tend to be smaller, much smaller. Like I said, um, sometimes maintenance isn't always the best. A lot of people have complaints. But really, I, I never really saw a disadvantage. Even though I live off post now, I don't really have any complaints about living off post. I've never really had any bad experiences per se. Um, I did like being closer to the commissary. If there was events on post, because people who know me know I'm, I hate to drive. And so if there was events on post, you know, I'm there. I don't have to come from off post to on post and be in the midst of all that traffic. And, I, you know, you feel like you're part of something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it. So really, those are my advantages of living on post. Um, like I said, one of the disadvantages is that post housing can tend to be smaller. That's the disadvantage. Oh, and nosy neighbors, but that could happen anywhere. I do admit, and let's keep it 100% real, that uh, you have a lot more wives who tend to be home during the day who don't really have much to do. And people do tend to be quite 
a little more nosier on post than they would off post. Now I'm in Fayetteville slash Spring, Spring Lake and probably 90% of the people that live in my you know, subdivision are probably military or some kind of government contractors or whatever. I mean, both of my neighbors are military and stuff, but I don't know. I just find it to be a little bit different. Also, as far as your spouse goes, the active duty service member, my husband says he feels like he's not under watch all the time. You know, if you come home and you're walking around, maybe without your jacket or something, you don't have like, you feel like people are the uh, higher up or something is always looking at you or whatever it is. I don't know, but it just feels better to be home. Um, but really, I don't see any major things. You know, if you want to share in the comments below, feel free to share. If you've had a disadvantage of living on post or you hated living off post or you have an advantage of living off post and an advantage to living off post, please let me know. I've had the best of both worlds. I've lived on and off, so I think I can speak with some expertise in this field. Yeah. <laughs> so my mind is going a million miles a minute. I'm trying to get everything out. I write notes and they don't even help me. So with that said, we're at six minutes and nine seconds. It's Crystal with ArmyWife101.com. Don't forget to visit me again and be sure to visit me too at realmilitarywives.tv. Thanks.